Okay, I'll be the first one to tell you that I'm really bad about letting projects kind of die off. There was the panel truck. There was the 54 Chevy. There was the 51 Buick. I posted some videos of my 53 year olds, but I'm not sure I've ever actually talked about it on YouTube. My 53 year olds has actually been my daily driver for the last six years, which has been a blast. And then I just took it completely and totally apart. So this has been a fun, fun car. I've driven the heck out of it. It's been an absolute blast. But then it seemed like it was time for a refresh. The 455 Oldsmobile is out. It's getting off at one shop, getting a refresh. The TH400 is actually right here, but I'm putting a 204R in because I need overdrive because gas mileage is killing me. Seven miles per gallon sucks after a while. I've repainted the firewall just because the old, like the firewall was beautiful before, but after, after that much driving, it was just not holding up very well anymore. Front clip is over there somewhere. Painted the inside of the fenders, if you can see that. Chrome bumpers and everything are underneath all of the towels. There are bits and pieces all over the place. But I'm committed to finishing this one. Like, I don't have a choice. I freaking love this car. I've had it forever now. I've been enjoying the heck out of driving it. Most of my projects die off, beca off because, of, because of money. Money is just, is, it's rough. Um, I was in a position where I sold a Corvette recently. I had a little bit of money left over from it, like making a little bit of profit on it. The money is spent. The money's spent. The engine's been paid. The transmission's been paid. Air ride. All of the air ride stuff, it's bought and paid for. I'm just waiting on all of it. So now I'm stuck waiting. So that's why the car has been sitting like this for like three or four weeks now, almost a month, kind of getting on my nerves a little bit, but that's, that's fine. That's how projects go. So as soon as the engine and transmission are back in, they're going back in the car. As soon as the air ride stuff shows up, I'm going to bag the front. I'm going to bag the back, but it might be a little bit hot. So next video is probably going to be engine and transmission going back in for sure probably going to be doing that for the front air ride as well. And then uh, I'll just kind of show bits and pieces as I go. So if that sounds interesting to you, please, oh God, I'm saying it, like and subscribe. That hurts. I hate it when people say that, but here I am saying it. But if you want to follow along, please do. If you want more frequent, like little updates, check out my Instagram page. That's actually where I keep track of everything. It's the same thing as always, at Enraged Hawk. Just look for me on Instagram. You can get a lot more like little video clips and stuff like that. But longer videos, if that's what you like, YouTube, I'm going to try to be a little bit better about it. So... I'll see you guys around.